I am a descendant of the Armenian genocide survivors from my father's side. They were from Syria, Kesab, and some part of the family stayed in Kesab in Syria. And the other part immigrated to Beirut, Lebanon. They're still there. I have a lot of family there. And some of them repatriated to Armenia, the Soviet Armenia. The genocide itself, well, being uh, part of the genocide, being the survivors of the genocide is part of our identity somehow. So I don't know if we have this genetic memory or not. There are a lot of researches about that, but just remembering, telling the stories of that period of time, the survivors is uh, how we keep it alive. We are not victims. I guess this new generation is trying to tell the world that we are not victims. Yes, that horrible, horrible thing happened, but we are still alive. We will thrive. We are thriving and we are just preserving the memory and will one day gain the justice. <sighs> to be honest, I didn't want to write about it. It was too hard for me as an Armenian, as a mother, as a daughter, and as a sister to write about it because for a long period of time, I couldn't even talk about it. It was really hard. And then since I immigrated to the US, so I became a member of the diaspora and I started to meet with these people and see how they're doing their best to survive as Armenians to build their lives, their, uh, the life of the uh, future generation. And we want it or not, uh, diaspora exists and it will exist. I don't know about other countries, uh, other uh, nations, but I'm talking about the Armenian nation. I realized that these stories are not really being told because the older generation, the older diaspora is kind of dying. And the new generation is doing a lot of great things and almost nobody's talking about it. 